Notification one coming back at you guys with yet another video. Um, this video is going to be about a wig that I discussed in my last video, and it is called Carnelian. Um, if you're interested in the wig that I am currently wearing, it is my um, Eco wig by Quick Weave, and it is in a color DR425. Um, and it's it's natural yakky, so it's like a, a natural yakky um, wig. So go and check out that video. Um, again, this wig that I'm wearing is called the Eco Wig by Quick Weave, and it is natural yakky DR425. So go and check that out. Okay, now the wig that I am going to show you guys today, I'm so excited about because. I love this wig, I love this style of wig, and of course I love the color. <laughs> um, it is called Carnelian. I think I'm saying that right now, I don't know y'all. But it is called Carnelian. Where is the... Darn. I do not have... I don't have the picture. So, I'm going to insert the picture somewhere around in here or down in the description bar. And um, you guys will be able to see it. Um, see what it looks like and of course you'll see what it looks like on my head it is by Bobby Boss it's a lace front premium wig um, carnelian and it's in a color TF953E so let me just show you the box that's what the it's a pretty pink and black box um, Bobby Boss so this is what the box is going to look like Na uh, you know regular standard packaging the box, the little, uh, you know, the little plastic and, and all of that stuff. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know that most of the time what I do is I unbox the wig uh, first and then I um, and then I review it. But this time, since I'm super excited about this wig and since I wanted to do this video, I'm going to do the unboxing with you guys um, it, because I, I, I do know I have... You know, I I noticed that, a, you know, a lot, of, not a lot of people, but some people like the actual unboxing, you know, when you first uh, take it out of the box and, and cut the lace and all that stuff. So I'm going to do that right here on camera with you guys. If you are um, still interested in the Carnelian wig, please stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so, um, let's see. Um, it, it's still, like I said, it's still in the, the packaging. My earrings are driving me nuts right now, you guys. One second. It, I have like an ear cuff and it don't want to stay where it's supposed to. Okay, there we go. Alright, so it comes in this little net thing here. It's a nice, you know, it's curly. I, I freaking love this wig. I tried it on um, one time, which was either before or after my Black Hole, I mean Black, <laughs> Black Hole, my Black Friday haul video. So if you haven't seen that, please go check it out. Okay, and it, it has like, you know, the little tissue paper and, and stuff. Lace is still on there. Let me get into the construction of the cap, and then I'm going to cut the lace. When I cut my lace, to be honest, I cut my lace right in my hand. I don't cut it on my forehead. I don't put it on a mannequin head. Anything like that. Um, because it's just it's just easier for me. Um, I, you know, I've seen other people uh, cut it on their head to get like a more natural or whatever. I, I, I just don't do that. That's just not something I do. But anyway, the construction of the wig. First off, you're going to get that lace on the front. Um... And you're going to get two cones, and I think they're actually closer to, like, the sides. But anyway, you're going to have the two cones in the front. They give you this little, I would say, after you cut the lace, probably like an inch, maybe an inch and a half of parting room right in the middle. And then in the back, you're going to have a long comb. A long comb in the back and then you also are going to have your adjustable straps 
and then the inside of the wig is just normal wefting and just the normal wefts um and again this is in a t tf 953e which is is a red um it's not as red as the dr 425s but it, it it's a red um and it's pretty long so let me go ahead and cut the lace it does have like these little itty bitty baby hairs i don't yeah you guys can probably see that but it has these little wispies in the front um which is good and i try not to cut those off um it looks like it has nice dips and curves i guess you could call them within the hairline but we're going to see once we cut the lace so let me go ahead and do that um i don't know if i can <laughs> section it well not section but i don't know if i can um if i'll be able to cut the lace in frame here i'm gonna try i'm gonna try y'all <laughs> and i just try to be honest i just try and cut as close to the hairline without cutting the actual um hair off so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try that sometimes i actually take um like clips if it has a lot of baby hairs if i don't you know if they aren't like tameable just by you know pushing them back i will put a few clips in it just to hold the just to hold the, um the baby hairs back so i'm gonna cut this as close as i can and as slow as i can try not to cut the actual baby hairs off um i don't gen generally use the baby hairs but it does give it more of a realistic feel um when you you have the baby hairs especially if the wig is made with baby hairs um you can make your own but i don't i don't do things like that either um and usually with like synthetic wigs and stuff like that i don't um <laughs> i do not tape or glue or you know put them put them on like that to hold them for a long time because most likely by the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to take that wig on off. So, um, so I just try and work with the combs and with the adjustable straps and things like that. So, um, you know, so it'll be as tight as possible and it'll last, um, all day. So, okay. Lace is now cut. Um... I am going to, I love these curls already, y'all, I'm telling you, um, I'm going to take off this wig that I have on, which is the eco wig, um, again, if you're interested in knowing more about this wig, um, I did do a video on it, and it is, um, up on my channel, so, check that out y'all um it's a little late y'all so you know it is what it is as far as this wig hit um anyway i'm gonna adjust my straps because i know most of the time these wig caps are a little bit big so i'm just gonna let me see Adjust them a little bit and then put it on and see what we what we working with here. All right, so let's put this on. First off, this is a nice size cap to be honest. It's um not too not too big, not too small. I'm just gonna insert the combs here. I know it look a little crazy, y'all, but bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> All right, so ouch, ow, ow, ow to that comb. <laughs> okay, so let me just. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me get this. Let me get my wig life together, y'all. Let me get my wig life together. Um, hold on. Let me see. I don't know. Hold up. 
Oh, okay. Wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> I'm just looking in the... I'm just looking in the camera. Just trying to see. Oh, it has these little... Okay, it's more than just the little wispies, y'all. It got nice little bangs you can play with and stuff. Okay, I'm feeling it. All right. Um, usually my swoops are on this side, so we're going to work that out. We're going to try and work that out, y'all. I'm sorry I'm getting really close to the camera because I'm trying to... There we go. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Um, I don't want to comb it, brush it out, but I think it needs a little brushing out just to get it together because, you know, this ain't going to work if I can't get it together. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> we getting a little something here. We getting a little something here, y'all. Um... I do like the length. I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to keep playing with it because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then I, I completely spaced on the... Um, I spaced on the, the picture. I don't know where that, that is. Usually I try and put them back inside the, the boxes. This way I have some type of reference. Um, but I don't know where that is right now. So we're going to just, we're going to just try and work it out. <laughs> we're going to try and work this out, y'all. Okay. So, I, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. When I initially tried it on, I had the picture, so I had some type of reference point. But I don't know where that picture could have went, because I usually, like I said, I usually put them back inside the boxes. Um, because I, I don't have a thousand mannequin heads lying around, um, because I don't, um, I just don't. You know, I don't have the space for it. I don't have the, the space for a gazillion, um... A gazillion mannequin heads to sit every single uh, wig on, so I do keep the boxes and try and, and try and keep it together like that. But I don't know, y'all. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm trying to work this out. It is pretty though. It is pretty. I'm just trying to get this wig together. Bear with me, like I said. <laughs> Y'all know, if you watch any of my videos, I be, I be trying. I be trying to get it together, y'all. I be trying to get it together. Anyway, y'all know I do love my little swoop. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to. Because it's like, right here in the front, it's like a little, it's hump, a hump or whatever. And I don't know if it's meant to be like that or if. That's just because the way it was sitting inside the package. But it's a little hump right there. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be popped up on the side like that. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But this is it. Because I've been holding y'all long enough. <laughs> but this is it. I love the curls. I love the color. It is called the Carnelian. It is by Bobby Boss. It is a lace front wig. It is about, I would say, maybe, um, geez, uh, maybe like 18, 18 inches, maybe 19, 20, pushing. Um, but yeah, let me give you a quick 360 of the wig. Let's put this down a little bit. Let me give you, yeah, there we go. You can see it better now. <laughs> let me give you a quick 360 of this wig. It is beautiful, you guys. It's kind of, it's soft. It's not really like soft, soft, like, but it, it it's pretty. It's pretty. It's really curly. Love the curls. Not too thick, not too thin. Okay, so let me do a quick 360 and show you guys this wig. This is the front. 
Love this color, y'all. Love this color. For the last, um, before I do the 360, y'all know I gotta rant for like a second, um, or longer. <laughs> um, for the last, I would say maybe three, three and a half, four years, I have been coloring my natural hair, um, not often, but maybe every six months or so. Um, I've been coloring my natural hair to like this nice red, hot red or velvet red color. Um, and I maybe in a video I'll show you guys um, because I actually will be recoloring my hair pretty soon. So I don't think I'm going to like show you everything. I might take pictures and, and make it like a slideshow type thing. Um, but I, you know, I... I'll show you what my hair looks like before and what it looks like after I usually do my hair color. But for the last few years, I've been doing um, a red um, a red color in my hair. And I tend to like those colors. I do still like my jet black if you watch any of my, like, like really older videos. Um, I've had my YouTube channel for about six years, but I, it was an off and on thing with this with with making videos initially it was just like something i was doing in my spare time and and you know but now i'm trying to get you know back into it and everything like that but anyway if you watched any of my older videos like from four or five six years ago i told you guys i love my jet black hair and i you know i was gonna keep that and i was you know sticking to my guns but as the years moved on and I wanted something different. You know, I wanted to go for something different. I tried red one good time. And I tell you, I loved it. Um, and that was just about four years ago that I, I started doing that to my natural hair. So anyway, this is the carnelian. This is the front. This is the left side. This is the back. Lots of movement. Lots of curls, you guys. Lots of movement. Lots of curls. Um, this is your right side, well, my right side, and this is the front again. Like I said, you guys, I love this wig. It is so pretty. Um, it is in a TF9, y'all gotta keep looking at it because there's so many numbers and a lot of this. Anyway, it's a, in a TF953. E. <laughs> That's the color. So it's like a red and it has these nice dark roots. Um, now, towards the bottom or like the middle, the, the you don't have those dark roots. But at the top where you want it to be. That's where your dark roots are. I love these curls. I love these curls. It's not too thick, not too thin. But it, it, it's, it's an all around good wig. This is Queenification 1. Um, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.